There is no doubt that the Huawei P20 and the P20 Pro have some of the best hardware out there for a phone. But EMUI, the software that's on it, well, let's just say it's not the most sought after UI out there. And while Huawei has toned down the look uh, and feel of EMUI recently, it's a lot better, uh, a lot of you have been asking me for how to make the Huawei P20 and the P20 Pro look like stock Android. And when I say stock Android, we usually now mean uh, what comes on the Pixel devices, because that's the closest thing as to what we have to call stock anymore. So if you want all of the crazy hardware of the P20, the P20 Pro, especially that camera, if you haven't seen the camera comparison I did, you should probably check that out, links below. Um, but you want the look and feel of stock Android because that's your preference, no problem. Here's how to do it. Firstly, we need to change the launcher. Now, if you're not familiar, the launcher is basically the app that you use as your home screen. By changing it to another one, and there are plenty in the Play Store, by the way, you'll make probably the biggest impact on getting the Huawei P20 to look like stock Android. So first, we're gonna head to the Play Store and download the Nova launcher. Then we can open it, and we're going to tap and hold on the home screen, and then tap on settings. And to customize it to make it look like stock Android, we're gonna go through a few of the settings in here. With tapping on desktop, then search bar style, and we're gonna make sure we select the rounded one, and scroll down and make sure we have the multicolored G. And then we're gonna go to app and widget drawers and then turn on swipe to open. Next is dock and then search bar and dock and choose below. Finally, we have look and feel, adaptive icon style, choose the rounded icons and make sure to turn on legacy apps. And now it'll look like stock Android. Now let's get the stock messaging app. Now besides the swiping way of messages that this app provides, that my OCD loves, this is as stock of a look as you can get for the messaging app. And it's available in the Play Store, so installation is really easy. Just head to the Play Store and search for Android Messages. We're gonna install it. You'll know it's the right one because it has Google Inc. as the developer, by the way. And then you can open the app and just follow the instructions to make it the default messaging app. Next, let's get the stock Google Keyboard to go with the messaging app. Again, this is gonna be pretty easy. Just go to the Play Store and search for Gboard. Then you can install it and open the app. And again, follow its prompts to set it up as the default keyboard. Now, there is no stock dialer or contacts app in the Play Store or on the web that I could find at least. If you do, please link it below. But there is a pretty good clone on the Play Store called xDialer. Head to the Play Store again and search for and install xDialer, E-X Dialer. Once installed, head to Settings, Apps, Default Apps, then tap on Phone and you can select X Dialer. Next, let's use the Google Calendar instead of Huawei's. Head to the Play Store, search for and install Google Calendar, tap on it to open it and set it up. Once it's set up, head to Settings, Apps, tap on Calendar with the red icon, this is Huawei's, and then tap Open by Default, and then clear defaults. This will stop it from automatically opening events, etc. When you do open an event or something else, you're going to just tap on the new Google Calendar icon and that'll set that as the default instead going forward. Then also tap back, tap on notifications and turn those off for Huawei's calendar so that you don't get double notifications every time you have an event. Now, one of the more subtle things that I think is really cool about Pixel devices is the living universe wallpapers. Now these are wallpapers that move slightly in the background and are not supposed to work in any of their devices, but let's head to the Play Store and download the Google Wallpapers app. Now these won't be available in it by default, but we need it installed to then get the Living Universe wallpapers to show up in it with the next step. That step is to head to the link I have listed below this video um, to take you to my site, which will then have a link to take you to XDA, and you can download the APK file listed in the first post. Make sure that you do this again on your phone to save the additional step of having to transfer it to your phone once you download it from your computer. Once it's downloaded, you can just tap install. Now after that, we're gonna head to the Google Wallpapers app and you'll see a section for live wallpapers. You might have to do a reboot of your phone, by the way, to get this to show up. But then tap that and you'll see the new Living Universe ones inside there. Tap one and set it as your home screen, lock screen, or both. And lastly, we're gonna add the calendar widget that resembles the one from stock Android. So to do that, we're gonna find another widget in the Play Store and install that, and then open it 
You can leave all the settings as default, otherwise if you want to customize it you can, but then tap add widget which will put it on the home screen and you can just put that wherever you want it and it'll look like stock. And there you go, you're looking pretty stock. If you want to undo any of these things, just go into settings, apps, and then uninstall each of these uh, to remove that feature obviously from the phone. And if you guys have any other apps that might help people look like they have a stock Android um, or other tweaks for that matter, please leave them in the comments below. I'm sure other people would be uh, really happy to check them out uh, so they can get more and more stock looking if that is your goal. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, and then also subscribe to the channel. I do a tip and trick every Tuesday and we do a bunch of other fun videos during the other days of the week. Uh, make sure to hit the bell next door, subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.